Welcome to St. Anne Lenten Reflection Podcast. Throughout this Lenten season, we will be praying in the form of Lexio Divina. We will be reading from the daily gospel reading and hearing a reflection from a parishioner at St. Anne. After the gospel is read, there will be a brief moment to reflect on how the Lord is speaking to you through the scripture. Today's reflection will be given by Mo Bass. Let us now prepare our hearts as we listen to the word of God. Come Holy Spirit, come Holy Spirit, come Holy Spirit. The gospel today is from Luke 1, 26 through 38. The angel Gabriel was sent from God to a town of Galilee called Nazareth, to a virgin betrothed to a man named Joseph of the house of David. And the virgin's name was Mary. And coming to her, he said, Hail, full of grace, the Lord is with you. But she was greatly troubled at what was said and pondered what sort of greeting this might be. Then the angel said to her, Do not be afraid, Mary, for you have found favor with God. Behold, you will conceive in your womb and bear a son, and you shall name him Jesus. He will be great and will be called the Son of the Most High, and the Lord God will give him the throne of David his father, and he will rule over the house of Jacob forever, and of his kingdom there will be no end. But Mary said to the angel, How can this be? since I have no relations with a man. And the angel said to her in reply, The Holy Spirit will come upon you, and the power of the Most High will overshadow you. Therefore, the child to be born will be called Holy, the Son of God. And behold, Elizabeth, your relative, has also conceived a son in her old age. And this is the sixth month for her who was called barren. For nothing will be impossible for God. Mary said, Behold, I am the handmaid of the Lord. May it be done to me according to your word. Then the angel departed from her. Okay, so looking at this verse and um, from Luke is just, I we noticed that this is a big one. This is one that the, you know, the church like really is like, okay, this is a big deal. Everybody get ready, buckle up. Um, and I wanted to, praying through it, I really just felt like the Lord bringing to mind like that we are all. Uh, before we were born, we're all called to know, love, and to serve him. And we have been constant recipients of his blessings. Um, Do we notice these in our daily lives? Do we take time to listen to the still, small voice of God in our day-to-day life? Mary was listening. And a lot of times we harp on um, her response, which was a yes. And my goodness, what came from that yes was amazing and beautiful and just forever changed the world. Um, But I want to focus on the fact that she was listening. Mary was listening. She heard the message of the angel and responded with her yes, her beautiful yes. She took it all in and it it says that she took all this within her heart. She let it just kind of like sit there with her. And how do we do that in our daily lives? Knowing that we we're born and called to be known, loved, and to serve him. We also can become filled with grace. If, like her, we listen and respond with a resounding and unconditional yes to all that God wants us from us. So we just have Mary as this beautiful model of, of someone that just listened. And so easily in our day-to-day life, we like to surround ourselves with noise. I'm, I'm definitely someone who has to have music playing or something in the background of when do we just give ourselves that silence and that time to sit with the Lord? And then when we listen, what is our response? How do we say yes time and time again, even in the uncertainty and, but I don't understand, Lord. I hear you. I don't understand, but I'm saying yes. And I, um, I want to give you all of that. And that's what God wants from us is to listen and to say yes 
to the beauty that he has in store for our lives. So let's go ahead and um, end with a prayer today, if you guys would join me. In the name of the Father, Son, and the Holy Spirit, amen. Heavenly Father, we thank you so much um, for the true gift that you give us of this daily life that we have to rise, to wake up, to serve you, to know you, and to love you. We ask that you help tune our ears to listen, to listen to your voice within the chaos, within the confusion of our daily lives, but Lord, also within the joy that we hear you and see you and respond with a yes, just like our Blessed Mother. Mary, we thank you as the example of what it means to just listen and to say yes to the Lord and all of his glory. We ask that you help us take our hand and guide us along this journey of continuing to tune our ears to listen and to give us that triumphant and confident yes within our hearts. Lord, we thank you. We praise you. Amen. In the Father, Son, Holy Spirit. Amen. We hope you enjoyed the Lenten Reflection Podcast. The St. Anne vision is to bring people to Jesus, form disciples, and send them to transform the world. Share this episode and invite someone to join you on the journey to Easter. To learn more about St. Anne, go to stannparish.org. God bless.